wow. Just wow. Five years on YouTube. Has it really been five years since I uploaded that crappy Toby's Discovery remake back in January 2013? Half a decade? I never thought I would make it to five years, to be honest. I thought I would go on for about a year or two and then lose interest. But here I am, still, with over 17,000 subscribers. 17,000! It's just unbelievable. I'm not trying to boast or anything, but do you get how shocking this is? You know, I never thought in my whole life I would upload videos that would get over a thousand likes. I think, you know, the most liked video on my channel right now is um that George the Steam Troller YouTube poop, which is understandable because it is a YouTube poop. It's more mainstream, but... You know, it's not just that. Even, you know, my NWR Origins videos are getting over a thousand likes. Getting a thousand likes within the Thomas community, do you understand, like, how much of an achievement that is? So, yeah, um, here's to five years. Uh, I honestly can't thank you guys enough. Like, you guys have been the best that anyone can ever have. You know, you've all been so supportive over the years. I hardly ever get any negative comments or hate. I'm very surprised by, you know, just how much people adore my stuff. And it just, you just don't know how much this means to me. I mean, you know, um, in my real life, uh, you know, I have many uh, social disorders. I'm, I'm not a very social person and I don't have many friends. So yeah, um, my life's had its ups and downs. and But the thing is... Whenever life got down, I could always come here and still get the tremendous praise for my videos, regardless of what was happening in my life. You know, you guys don't know how much it means to me. You know, you guys are like a second family. It's on my videos, there is rarely any negative comments, rarely any hate, and that's just unbelievable. I mean, yeah, I know the Thomas community isn't the best, uh, you know, certain things going on within it, but to be honest, from what I've experienced, I'd say it's a pretty welcoming community for the most part, but, you know, that's a whole different video. So, yeah, um, I honestly don't know what to say, uh, aside from thank you, you know, um, 33 episodes, no, uh, 34 episodes of the Engines of Sodor. It, yeah, I thought I wouldn't get past 10, to be honest. You know, yeah, four seasons. The fifth one should be out soon. And yeah, I mean, I'm just so amazed at how much of an impact this channel has had on the Thomas community. I, you know, I used to watch, you know, back in like 2008, I used to go on YouTube and see like, the videos by, uh, you know, people like so SI3D Films and, uh, yeah, and so forth, the uh, Shona Productions. I never thought in my life I would be respected as much as these people are. You know, I'm constantly reminded, you know, on Twitter when people tag me in posts like, oh, Thomas 1, Edward 2, Henry 3 series is the best, or um, people who made my year and I'm like number one. It's just, like, unreal, and I, I just can't thank you guys enough. I, I know I'm rambling a bit, but, you know, uh, the, it just feels so good that no matter how crappy the stuff is I put out, and I will admit, I think some of the stuff I put out is pretty crappy over the years, you know, everyone, well, okay, not everyone, but most of people seem to enjoy it in... There is no video on my channel that has more dislikes than likes. Like, I'm very surprised by that. Uh, yeah, it's just... You guys have really, um... Encouraged me with filmmaking, you know. I used to... I've all... I've, I've been into film for a long time. Ever since I was, like, eight. But, you know, I never thought I could really do anything special. But, you know, with all the praise I'm getting on this channel, you know, it's really... I feel like it's really given me that push to go forward with film as a career. 
with that said, I think I need to talk about, you know, the future of this channel. Um, you know, I'm, you know, as I said before, I'm pursuing a career in film, and it's great, you know, doing Thomas videos as, you know, a secret hobby, but, you know, I've noticed lately they've really, how do I describe this? They've taken my mind off of, you know, where it should be in my film career. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love doing them, you know, um, but I think, you know, I'm spending too much time, you know, doing these Thomas videos, and, you know, doing them once a while is fine, but, you know, having an episode out, you know, every month or two, like, it just gets to be a lot of work, and so, with that reason, and also the fact that I just really, I'm really struggling with ideas, you know, I'm running out, and with those two reasons, I've come to a decision. I think, no, actually, yeah, season five is going to be the last season of The Engines of Sodor, yeah, I'm sorry, I just feel like, you know, it's run a good course, and, you know, if, but, you know, I'm just struggling for ideas now, and, um, well, here's the thing, the engines of Sodor will be ending, and as far as other Thomas videos, um, well, here's the schedule, um, engines of Sodor season 5 will end in 2000, the end of this year, hopefully, and then, um, I plan after that to do a bunch of, you know, Thomas-related specials until around the summer of 2019, well, I'll, where I will uh, upload, you know, a big grand finale to the engines of Sodor. Um, what happens next is, uh, I don't know if it's just going to be a very long break or just me stepping out of the Thomas world entirely. I don't know that yet because, you know, coming up, I'm going to be working on some other projects in my career and, you know, um, I think I just need to take some time off, you know, it would be at least, you know, two years and, so I decided to end the engines of Sodor, rather than just put it on, you know, an indefinite hiatus, so I could, you know, give it a good ending. And if I do decide to start up Thomas again, you know, I can just create a new series, you know, just series with a different name. In fact, um, it might not even be trains, it might be model railways and all that, once I get my own house. But yeah, I think, um, Thomas in trains in my life, um, I think that's gonna come to an end, um in the summer of 2019, but, you know, that's still over a year and a half away, so don't worry, I'll still be busy right until the end, um, you know, uh, right now, season five should be starting very soon, and, um, we also have Revenge of the Ghost Train, which is coming out in between May and July, May and August, um, you know, if you see the video I posted a while back, it, you know, I just, needed a lot more time to develop it, and I wanted to, you know, get the fifth season started. You know, and another reason I want to get the fifth season started early is because, you know, well, the main reason is that because I want to do more NWR Origins. Yep, you heard me right. I'm doing a second season of NWR Origins. Yay! I've decided not uh, not to not only do, you know, Percy, Toby, and Ducks, um, you know, I've come up with ways to make their stories interesting, but I've also decided to do some characters, you know, like Bill and Ben, um, Mavis, uh, Boko, and, um, yeah, just whoever else, you know, everyone wants, basically, um, and if you're worried about Boko's being too similar to Darth Assassin's, or whatever his name is, to that movie, don't worry, it will be very different, I'll make a unique twist on it, so yeah, NWR Origins Season 2, I don't know when it's coming out, um, Maybe, I think most likely, uh, you know, Christmas of 2018, or what I might do is, you know, in between season five, you know, like fall, I might have Percy Toby Ducks, and then, you know, have a break, f finish off season eight, and then, I mean, season five, sorry, and then, uh, you know, do the rest. So, yeah, um, I don't know when they're coming out, but season two of NWR Origins is confirmed, I can tell you that. So after, uh, you know, summer of 2019, I will still, you know, be a member of the Thomas community. I'm not, like, shutting down the channel every... I'm not, like, shutting down the channel or anything, and, you know, I might upload an occasional video now and then, but, you know, I, it won't... It just won't be, you know, like, a full series going on. You know, I might upload specials during the summer when I have free time, but, you know, it's just mainly the engines of Sodor that's stopping, and then, you know... I just won't be as active, um, but, so, yeah, um, 
you know, with these specials, uh, you know, there will be voice acting opportunities, but five years on YouTube, wow. Yeah, when back when I was a dorky person, you know, not knowing what I was doing, I just remade Toby's Discovery. Um, in fact, I was going to remake it for like the fifth anniversary, but, you know, I couldn't find the right roots and, uh, you know. So, yeah, um, I can't thank you guys enough. You're like, you guys are the best. Um, as far as my advice to, you know, people who are trying to get going in the Thomas community, just my big advice is like, it doesn't really matter so much about the quality, you know, well, I mean, let me rephrase that. It, I think the best videos are those with a great story. So even if you are just throwing wooden railway trains around, um, if you have a great story, that will capture your the attention, you know, look at Thomas Wooden Railway, you know, he just pushes his trains along the carpet, yet his, he's like another god in the Thomas community, so, yeah, um, thanks for five years, uh, I'll post some more updates soon, but, you know, th all I can say is thank you, and, um, Sorry to bring the bad news about, you know, the engines of Sodor, but once again, I, I'll still try to be an active member in the Thomas community, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say. Thanks for five years on YouTube, and, uh, yeah, goodbye.